Hello and welcome to a new colouring video. In this video I'm going to be showing all the colouring pages that I've finished. I don't have a huge number of finished pages because each colouring that I do does take me quite a long time. I'm quite slow colouring so um, I don't, I can't like just pump them out really fast. So some of them are better than others because I've obviously improved as I've gone along but I'm not showing them in any particular order. So the first book is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford and this one I started with, I think I used watercolour pencils for this but I've got a long way to get that one finished. Then my more recent one, I made a video on, in fact I made a video on probably just about all of my colourings. So that was my latest one that I did and I did that with gouache paints. If you look on my videos page you'll see it if you'd like to watch that video. Um, I did this double page spread and in this one I used the Zig Clean Colour markers and I also used a little bit of Daniel Smith iridescent watercolour for those um, I think that I'm not sure what they're called like them sh them <laughs> these <laughs> I think they're called like seed pods or something I'm not sure okay so that's the only two that I've done in that book um, this Alice's Adventures in Wonderland um, I've only done one in this which is that one. Now I did that with polychromos pencils and the shiny bits were done with fine tech metallic paints. This Sherry Baldy steampunk colouring book, um, I cut the pictures out and I didn't actually colour them in the book. So I copied the image onto watercolour paper and I used polychromos pencils and the fine tech metallic paints again. All the products I will list below in the item description. I'll put Amazon links to them below. And next I've got this, I can't remember how you pronounce it, I think it's Ayahuasca Jungle Visions by Alexander George Ward. Uh, just this was actually sent to me by the artist this one and this was the picture that I did with that and I did those I did that with Prismacolor pencils and also for the eye I think I think just the eye I used Derwent line painter pens so this is this one's the Grim Fairy Tales coloring book it's a Jade Summer coloring book and this is the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs picture that I coloured and I'm pretty sure I used Prismacolor pencils for this. Now I didn't make a video of this one but I did make a video showing how I coloured the faces on the dwarves and Snow White and then I also made a separate video on how I coloured the hair. This one, World of Fairies, a gray, and it's a grayscale colouring book and it's by Molly Harrison. And that's the one I did, and I did that in watercolour paints. Then Autumn Scenes, a Creative Haven colouring book. And I did that with Ink Tense pencils. This Wizard of Oz colouring book. And that was done with watercolour pens. That was, I'm pretty sure it was Artes or watercolour pens I did that one with. It was either Artes or Winsor Newton, I actually can't really remember now. Um, the Secret Life of Forest Animals by Stramina Tuzzova. This is the more recent one that I've done. Now I did that with acrylic paints, that was me experimenting with acrylic paints in a colouring book. Um, I was quite pleased with the results but I was unhappy with the 
ground that I did here. Um, there was lots of other little stones drawn in and I ended up painting over them with the acrylic paints. But I got a lot of nice compliments about this one in the comments section of the video so I was really pleased about that. Now Anamorphia. How many have I done in Anamorphia? Most of the colouring books I've only usually done like one to two pictures in them. Oh yeah. I did that one, that was the more recent one, that was with watercolour paints and that was with the Mission Gold Pure Pigment set that was gifted to me. And then this is one of the first colourings that I've done, was these two octopuses here and I did those with Polychromos pencils. Now Mythomorphia, when I did that double page spread with watercolour paints this one here with pretty sure it was prismacolour pencils then Enchanted Forest what was that towards that um, little tree stump house one and then I've, oh, and I also did that one that lion head Magical Jungle by Joanna Basford. Then I was just practicing some little raindrops on leaves. And that was done with watercolours. That was the Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolours. Which are really, really lovely set. I would definitely recommend getting those for using in colouring books. It's a really good quality student grade set. Secret Garden was one of my first colouring books that I ever got. So the colourings in these, this is kind of, I'll show you my very first ever colouring book picture that I completed. <laughs> it was that one there. That was my very first ever and I used Stedler fine liners because that was what was recommended to colour them with. So, I mean, this is the result you get with Stedler fine liners. Like, you're just not going to get a smooth result. But I had absolutely no experience at all in what to use in colouring books. And it was just kind of the start of the whole colouring book craze. Um, so that was that. And then well, I also just coloured that in with grey and red that one again I used the Stedler fine liners this is me just practicing with different art supplies that I've purchased over time this I coloured with polychromos pencils and then this one I never finished because I kind of ruined it halfway through I used some Stedler fine liners and and then I decided to try and colour the background with pastel and also a light coloured pencil and it just went all powdery over everything it was a complete disaster these ones in the corner these leaves here I did with Derwent Inktense pencils so it's just a mishmash of different art products I was trying and I never ended up getting it finished, unfortunately. So that's a sick garden. And then Joanna's Christmas book. I did that one of that little gingerbread house. And I used Prismacolor pencils. And for the shiny bits, I used the Fine Tech pens, I think. I'm pretty sure I used the Fine Tech pearlescent calligraphy paints for, for that and I think that's the only one I've done in that one I think it's maybe one that I started but I didn't finish that one there but I haven't quite finished that one yet now Alice in Wonderland by Fabiana Astadasio I've done one picture in this now it, this rabbit here I started this 
I didn't like how it was turning out so I ended up copying it onto some watercolour paper and I actually finished it in watercolours and I'll put a still on the screen now so you can see what it looked like finished on the watercolour paper. Then the Wizard of Oz, I did this page here, I can't actually remember what pencils I used but I think I used Prismacolors. And then this little one, Escape to Wonderland. That one I haven't finished. That was one I did quite a while ago as well. That's not finished but I really really want to finish that sometime. I did this with watercolour. And I can't remember, it's so long ago, I'm not going to be able to remember what colours I used and then get the exact same colour on this side of the page. <sighs> Annoying. Um, I also, I've just done this recently actually with um, the Chameleon pencils, which I was really impressed with because I found them really lovely to use. But I only had a few limited colours because I got them in a scroller box. If I could get them at a decent price, because I think they're pretty expensive, I would definitely buy a set of those. Um, especially now because I found out you can buy them in open stock, so you don't have to just buy them in the set. So I would consider getting those if I could get them at a good price. But I don't really want to pay $50 for 20 pencils. I think 24 pencils, something. This one I did with Polychromos and the Fine Tech paints again of the Cheshire Cat and then this one, they're not quite finished this is the back page it's not quite finished and again that was Prismacolor pencils then we've got Tangle Wood by Jessica Palmer this is an absolutely beautiful colouring book I just love the, the way the print looks on the paper there's just something so lovely about it but this is the picture that I've done in this and again this was with poly... I'm going to have to move these out of the way because they're just in the way. And this was with polychromos and fine tech metallic paints as well. Next, what's in the woods? And I did that one with watercolour paints. I don't think I've really used enough colours, it's all kind of yellow down at the bottom half. So if I did that again I would change the colours up and these bottom ones I think Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween book this one I did read Prismacolor pencils I think for the background I used the, the Co Inor woodless pencils for the background and I also used some black ink for the hair just to blacken it up a little bit because it's very very difficult to get a dark black with the Prismacolor pencils there's loads of glare shining on it and it makes it look lighter so I got that deep black with a Pigma Micron brush pen and a pumpkin gift that's actually a four part tutorial on my channel um, then the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Fantasy Art Adventure I've done two in this one as well that one Sea Beacon which I did with Prismacolors and I actually was quite pleased with that one I, I like the way I got the um, the sea to look like it was like kind of darker at the back there and yeah, I was quite pleased with it and I was pleased with the wings as well. And then that one, Princess of Bones. Then I've got the Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. And this is the one that I've done in this one. And that was done with polychromos pencils I think I think 
I can't remember. It was either Polychromos or Prismacolors and I used the Fine Tech paints for the little metallic bits there. And I'm pretty sure I've only done one picture in there. Then Tenderful Enchantments by Clara Markova. I've only done the first picture in this book which is this one and I did this with watercolours I think it was Windsor and Newton watercolours I think so and then the other Clara Markova book I've only done one in this one as well but as I've said in many of my other colouring videos especially when I'm showing what colouring books I've got I don't colour like all of the pages. I'm just quite happy to collect the books. Um, I just like looking at the pictures even if I don't colour them. So I did this one with the Faber-Castell watercolour pencils, the, Al the Albrecht Jura watercolour pencils. I've got some shimmery on these wings, I'm not sure what it is. Then this Romantic Country, I haven't finished the, oh, I did that one in Ink Tense in Romantic Country, that fairy, and this one, currently still in progress, I've been doing this for quite a while, in fact I haven't touched it for a long time, but I'm doing this with the New York Colour 2, and that's as far as I've got, I've got all the walls done, and I've got most of that side coloured in, that's that one. This one, Where the Wildflowers Grow, again, I just bought this because the book is beautiful and I haven't finished anything yet, but I have started this one page here um, with polychromos pencils. The Zelma Snova book by Tommy's Love Tomic, beautiful book gifted to me by a lovely lady called Nancy and um, this is the page that I've coloured in that one. Now I've got Menuet de Bonheur, this is one of my all time favourites along with this one. And the picture that I did in this one was this. And that was done with, I think I did this with my watercolour pencils, my Albert Jura watercolour pencils. I'm pretty sure I did. What's that one? Then Rhapsody in the Forest. I haven't finished any full pictures in this one. I've kind of started on that one, just done a little practice. I was just practicing shading this little bird buff thing here with watercolour. Um, I, I coloured these in with watercolour just for a little shading demonstration video that I did and I also did this for a little tutorial on my channel of shading as well, a little shading tutorial. And then this is the final book and this is the Island Escape by Jade Gideon and I coloured this one with the Arteza watercolour paints and that's also a video on my channel if you'd like to watch it but I've got yeah in fact I think I did this one as a tutorial so as I kind of explaining what I was doing with the shadows and everything on this one Okay, so that's all of them. Oh, that's everything that I've coloured. 